I don't think so. Everyone else seems to be on via soft Kaiserplatz. He's his Kaiserplatz had a spin somewhere because he started eighth, I believe, and he's fallen down. Oh, and there's contact. As Sergio forces his way through on Phil, and he's going to have a look into the Dunlop hairpin. Let's see, is there going to be any contact here? Late breaking, tries to go around for the outside, they're leaving a space. Heavy head protects that inside line, there's still contact, there's contact again on exit as they touch what would be the Armco on an LMP1 car. Sergio gets through as he's on the softer compound of tyre. There's no restriction on what tyres you have to be on. There's no rules, so you could just soft it all the way and... Well, what's going on here? Heavy head, he's now ghosted as he takes a bit of a penalty. He's racing right through for this last points paying position. Phil getting all shaky at the back there as well. Heavy head, is going to go side by side through 130. Oh, Mercedes versus Nissan. Who's got the bigger balls? Due to heavy head's penalty, that was saved from being a massive accident. Well, that could have come out a lot worse. Looking for another move into 130R. He's close. Side by side for 130R. And he gets it. Sergio backs out. Sergio looks for a switch back. He's not quite close enough. When Heavy Head looks up, that move done. He's in that last little bit. Uh, when he gets to spoon and then 130R. There's a lot of time there. That's a long section of lap as it's a long straight. Oh, no, no, no. That is utterly gutting. As he spins it round. Four attempts for gap between Casey and Dana Rod. As Dana Rod's looking for a move as they reach the top of a hill. They go side by side and they run down towards Deg Norton. Dana Rod has the inside line at the top of a hill, but there's a bit of contact there as Casey is the inside line. Through Deg Norton. Dana Rod's through. They left the space. That's brilliant racing from the two Porsche guys. As Dana Rod goes wide at Deg two. Casey goes back through. What's going to happen? Are we going to look for a move? Maybe a switch back into Dunlop? No, just sticking to the bumper and he's going to look for a better exit and a run down into Spoon. The two Porsche drivers, very respectful there. Dino tried to leave him space, I think, and just ended up going wide. Is he close enough? Quarter of a second in it. Don't think he is. A good exit. Dino Rod has been pretty impressive on the exit of Spoon. Let's see if he gains. He falls back a bit. He's going to want to get the power down as early as he can. He does, and he's now right in that slipstream. He's going to be pushing that car. He's 10 minutes to go as fast as he can. I don't think he's going to get him into 130 yard. He's gaining. It's not going to be close enough. He's going to bail out. Well, not really bail out. Don't close enough as he pushes wide as he's really pushing here. He's just pushing. Pushing like a woman in labour. Not close enough out of 130 yard into the final chicane. He'll look for it into turn one as... No, he won't. Casey Pitts to quickly go back to this. So even though we do need to kind of see who says fastest lap, Casey's got back through on Dyna Rod. And we're going to see it again into Spoon. I don't think he's quite close enough. Dyna Rod a bit shaky on the exit of the Dunlop hairpin. But look at the tyres. Casey compared to Dyna Rod. You've got to have your money on Dino Rod at this point. Oh, he's coming down that back straight. Tuck into the slipstream. Quarter of a second. He's gaining, gaining, gaining. There was contact last time. Are they going to go side by side? No, they're going to bail out. He's not quite close enough. But the pressure is on for Casey. The tire wear is not good. And he knows... I think he knows, after last time, uh, where Casey got the uh, run into turn one, he's going to save it and go into turn one as you do. <laughs> JD sets the fastest lap of the race. A 158.7 on lap 30 here. This is the last lap. There's only 10 seconds remaining. So we go side by side into turn one on the last lap. It's all or nothing. Dino Rod goes through. Casey looks for a switch back. Will he have it as we ride on board up the hill? Maybe is a lot better through Degner is Casey, but the slipstream. He's not quite close enough to go into Dunlop. A good exit though. That's exactly what Dino Rod's got. As we ride on board with him. 
Fourth place, Dino Rod. He's three seconds back. Up three attempts back, sorry. He's gaining. He's going to look for a move into Spoon. He's going to dive bomb it. No, not quite. 130R, maybe. Going to have a nice, exciting battle. So we said it in the last five minutes it would hot up. There's three minutes to go. They're going to go side by side down the back straight. Will Dino Rod have the speed to get through? Or will we go side by side through 130 yards? Someone's got a bail out here. They wheel to wheel side by side. But Porsche Dino Rod finally gets ahead. The inside line has contact. Oh! And Casey saves it back on. He runs wide, but he's back on. Dino Rod has that move done. But it's not dusted. As he moves right down for inside, <laughs> Casey wants revenge. He's sticking to the left hand side. Dino Rod doing an Akita Mazepin and hooking that inside line side by side into one. What a battle we're going to have here for the last. So, Genergy 6th, Heavy Head 7th, and across the line. Round the final turn, the German, what a performance. JM Devil wins round one of the season.